surely one of the most amazing, if you don't mind me saying so, little fighters of the last decade. No, I think he is a terrific little fighter. It's uh, Ian Knapp, a British bantamweight gentleman who defends his title tomorrow night at Brentwood against Yorkshire's James McDonald. Ian's been in British world and European title fights for 10 years. 10 years he's been at the top, winning losing some but winning and competing at that level what a career and in my opinion and i've done it before on this show he has been disgracefully ignored for most of his career and i'm delighted to say and it's less than 24 hours before about 24 hours before he fights i'm delighted to say that ian joins me now good, good evening ian how you doing mate you're right yeah fantastic what are you up to now ian with 24 hours to go what, what, what's your itinerary between now and and the first bell tomorrow night at brentwood I mean, just to relax, you know, I've been down this road quite a lot of times now, so just same old thing, relax, watch a bit of boxing now and then, but, you know, I've, I've done all my hard work, so it's all done now, it's just like relaxing, just watching TV. And, and do, you, do you sleep before a fight the night before? Are you a good, are you a good kipper? Yeah, I mean, I'll go to sleep, like, it's just a standard thing. Yeah, so it's not it's not a problem with you. Because it's quite an important fight, this against McDonald, because you've already got the a vacant European title fight lined up in March. Yeah. In, so, so you know, I don't, I don't, I know you don't like to look ahead, but that fight's already been done. So you got to look good, come through this without a cut, without an injury, and more than that, you got to win, Ian. Oh yeah, I, I, it's a, it's a fight that I've got to win. So it's, you know, it's a very, very important fight for me. You know what I mean? I've like proper like prepared well for it. You yeah. know, and nothing. I never take anyone lightly anyway. So I know the kid's young, is ambitious, and everything. But I just got to put him in his place. You were you were young and ambitious once, weren't you? About ten years ago, when you first fought for the British title, it's like when when I think about that, it's like a different boy. You're like a different man back then. Oh yeah, that's true. Like I mean, I'm I'm matured with age and that. You know, just like in those days, I didn't really take things too serious. I, it was all like you know, it seemed it just seemed like easy in, in my eyes, but you sure. know, it wasn't exactly. Now, of course, it wasn't, and. You sort of luckily you pulled it back. It's a bit unfair, British boxing, isn't it? You got some fighters. I mean, they're nice guys and they deserve their publicity, but they're superstars, three or four big superstars. And then yeah. there's the other twenty of you who've got titles and you you you're virtually ignored. It's a bit unfair, right? I don't know. Um, I guess it's just. I mean, over the years, I've just got to learn this how boxing goes. You know, what I mean, that's yeah. just part of what comes with boxing. So it's just as long as I'm achieving what I'm trying to achieve that's the main thing really I've just like ignored I've ignored the media and stuff like that and the publicity and stuff like that just got on with my job basically yeah and that's the, and that's the only way to do it Ian because you, you know I was talking about you today to a couple of people out at um, out at uh, East London where there was some Olympic thing and I just said he said Ian Naff I said he's been a great servant 10 years all those British and European and that world title fight it's been fantastic well listen Ian good luck tomorrow night uh, don't oh, take it for much. granted and uh, make sure Everything. you do the business. Uh, make sure you do the business uh, when you go in with this other fellow, OK? okay uh, listen, by the way, QPR Steve, one of, my, one of my regular listeners, he says, Bunsy, wish Dapper Nap a good luck tomorrow. I've seen him I've seen him a few times. He's proper value. QPR Steve, he's a proper fellow, I can assure you. All right. <laughs> so Dapper Napper, it's always a pleasure to have you on the show. Good luck tomorrow. Say right. hello to yeah, everyone. Say hello to Brian for me. See you, Ian. All right. Bye. See you later. Now, some...